Welcome back. And we are here in the kitchen. Amber and I have been talking about this dish all show long. It's the viral <laughs> feta pasta. We are ready. Uh huh. There she we pulled go. it out. Oh, that looks. That looks dreamy. I know. Let me tell you. I know. So this first step, all you got to do is stir it together and see how the cheese and the tomatoes and the, and the olive oil, it all just incorporates. And then we will add that pasta water, like I was saying. Yes. Once we get it, cre once we get it all mixed up and incorporated. That looks heavenly, Lori. Yep. It's amazing. And there's, there's a few uh, simple steps on how to make it. Are we ready to show folks? Do you want to? Is Let's this, do it. Is it time? Oh my if you want to start with this, if not, we can do the mug cake. Whatever. No, it's all right. Well, you know what I'll do? All right, so we've got a cool dessert that's just one little, one mug. So it's got some smitten apples at the bottom and some pantry staples, flour, baking powder, a little bit of brown sugar. Popping it in the microwave. Our microwave's down there. It's kind yep. of strange, but and that's what it going. takes 90 seconds. So, Oh, I don't know if I did that 90 right. 90 seconds. So away from you dessert. know what? We'll figure it out in a minute. Let's okay. get to the. Let's get to this. All right. So you stir the dish, and then I am going to go ahead and add. This is what it looks like. Do not be alarmed with the amount of olive oil. Okay. We're going to add the pasta, and then as we are adding this pasta, this is your secret ingredient. Okay. You're going to add some pasta water that you have reserved. That starchy pasta water. Okay, so a quick question, Lori. Mm -hmm. Is there a point to making sure that it's the pasta water and not just hot water that we've boiled? Does the starch add something? The starch is what helps bind all of these components of this sauce together. Because remember, we're baking it with not just those amazing, you know, cherry tomatoes, but we added some garlic mm -hmm. and some spices, and it just helps it come together. Of course, this is my version. More so we got to add some dark leafy <laughs> greens. Um, you can really, you guys, this, this is a great dish that you can take in whatever direction you want. But I promised you, when I first made this, I was like, I I'd pay 20 bucks for this at a pasta restaurant, you know, at an Italian it's restaurant. That it's that good. You are going to love it. And it comes together with just a few simple ingredients. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, you're, it's something the kids can do, too. So let's show folks how to make it. We've already established the fact that it's hard. Like, near impossible to find blocks of pasta or blocks mm -hmm. of feta cheese right now. What you can find are blocks of cream cheese. Okay, so if we can't find the block of feta, do a block of cream cheese. That's right. Okay. All right, and then you can find some feta crumbles. Feta cheese, the blocks of feta cheese have had a spike in demand of, I mean, it's been so high they haven't even fully calculated it. But some estimations in the food industry are like, it's up 500% demand. Really? And you know, it's an, I mean, it's an agricultural byproduct. So it's going to yeah. take a while before well, that supply I like is block, normalized. I, and I feel like blocked pet fed up um, cheese was the unloved ingredient. Like, I never saw it purchased much. It's I, always the crumbles that we go for. Right. But that's right. Now you can't find it. One more so be I grateful. Know. If you guys find it, pick me up some. That's while you're right. At it. And so be generous with your tomatoes. That's the next secret step here. OK, a lot of the recipes will call for just one, one container not enough. You're going to need more than one container. I actually like using three. Oh, wow. Well, you gave that tip to me before the show. I yeah. always double the produce. Of course, the produce course. moms can say that, but we all need but it. But in all we? seriousness, you're making a tomato sauce from scratch. You need tomatoes. Okay. All right. We're going to add some garlic. This is just like a really rough chopped garlic clove. We did three total cloves. All right. And then you're going to I've just got some freeze-dried basil. You can use fresh basil. If you're using fresh and not dried, the, you want to add that at the end the same way we did the spinach, okay? Mm -hmm. And then this is, you're going to add about a half a cup of your olive oil on top. And you know that you have enough when the tomatoes are, you know, kind of swimming in it a little, all right? And that's, that's how you know you've got enough. You want to make sure that the bottom of the pan has a nice, you know, eighth to a quarter of an inch of olive oil in the bottom. Okay, so good amount of olive oil. We've got about 30 seconds left, Lori. We could Salt stay it. with her the rest of the day, you guys. Salt but it, pepper okay. it, and then everyone's gonna love this. All you do, pop this into the oven. I did about 350, takes about 40 minutes, and pull it out, and then you saw that, that next step at the beginning of the show. You just, it's just a matter of stirring and incorporating. And use this as a base to make your own. Add whatever you want to it. Add you chicken, do you. add spinach, uh -huh. add, Add shrimp, add whatever you want. She debunked it for us. Yes. I love it, Lori. I'm going to make this for dinner because I think you, I do have all of those things you're on You're going to love it. And if you can't find the block feta, do not fret. You can still make a great dish using a little bit of cream cheese and some crumbled feta. I've also seen people use halloumi cheese. Mm -hmm. That mm. Um, 
it's a it's a different type of Greek cheese. It's mm -hmm. the one that they do the opa. Oh, with. yeah, fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> and I just got to remind everybody. Um, we did a wonderful Facebook Live with you just before the show. You guys, she gave even Amber had so many great questions for her, like the history of this. How does a food recipe go viral? Uh, and she knew it all, of course, yes. off the top of her head. So make sure that you check that out um, for more. And then I'm sure that we can get the mug cake recipe on your website. Remind us where that. Well, is. yeah, you know what? we're actually doing an Instagram live, walking folks oh. through it. So find us on Instagram. We'll walk you through it end to end. But you, it's easy. The it's produce great. Moms. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. It'll eventually be on the website too. Who am I kidding? Can't get <laughs> enough of this lady. I'm sure you can't. Either you got to come back soon. Bring us another viral video. <laughs> can't wait to dig into that. Amber, I'm in love, and I might finish half of it before you even get over here. My I friend. want to make this. It's just because it's that one pan, right? And as it's busy mamas and dads, we all want to keep things simple, but also tasty at the same time. So, Lori, thank you so much. We'll put all the details on IndieStyle.tv because you know you're going to want to make that too.